Oh, it's me. Yes, I did hit the button. Yes, I did. All right. Going to make another silly video about these silly twats on the internet. Making these silly comments on a video. Oh, it's just... Ob oh, it's obnoxious. It's just... It's obnoxious. These people are obnoxious. So, we must do something about it, right? Yeah, well, you could put our asshole file over here. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, let's make some room for some more assholes. Yes, more room for assholes, more room for us. I love that song when I was a child. Oh, da -dun -dun -dun. Oh, oh, I just closed the window I need to have open. Oh, shame, shame. Oh, get me, you fucking asshole. But you're not as big an asshole as they are, so... Uh, I don't feel too bad. Alright, anyway. Here we go. Sounds like Gary just gave up. The goal should be attempt to uplift the whole of all populations. Yes, teach the insects how to sing a song of many pence or something. The song of many pence. We have six legs and then ten the ah. You know, that kind of thing. One of these Britishy kind of things, you know, like, um, you know, that, that that man on the Star Trek show sings and such, you know, those opera kind of, well, it's not this opera, it's this English opera, British, I'm a British man, I wear short pants, ba 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 da ba ba you know, it's all faggoty and fluffy and such, and such. Right, anyway, what the fuck, you silly person? How do I do this? The whole of all populations? I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to uplift all populations? I'm going, to, I'm going to float all the boats? I think that's called the voodoo economics, you silly person. You cannot uplift all the boats. You have to sink some of them to make the other ones float. It's, it's a thermodynamic thing, uh, you know. There's only so much water. You know, you can't float them all, you, you silly person. Anyway, whether or not we can reach the goal. Well, I just don't understand. So you're saying we should futilely push this Sificus boulder up the hill and let it roll back down and squash, squash, squish, squish. And then push it back up and squash, squash, squish, squish. I, I, what? Why would I do that? I mean, come on. We're, we're civilized people now. You might as well say I should go eat my boots. It's, it's, it's a silly. It's a, it's a silly comment. You silly person, silly person, silly person, alert. Fucking silly person. Over to the asshole page, I'm afraid. Yes, you're an asshole. Oh, God, you people are... Oh, oh, my, oh we have to live here with this. <laughs> oh, ew, ew. Thunderbird has to be the stupidest YouTube atheist. Well, it's a perfectly good remark, but it, you know, it's just, it is just kind of pointless, this stupidest thing and smartest thing and whatever thing. All right, make an argument, people. Arguments. You must make arguments. This, this trite, this truffle. It's just like saying Thunderfoot has dog duty in his nose. I mean, it may be true, but it's sort of irrelevant. Um, calling someone who is smarter than yourself stupid is rather amusing. Well, I don't think he is smarter, actually. I really don't. So I'm going to put you in the asshole category, because you're an asshole. Uh, yes, it was a stupid and hobbling comment. Has no real function or purpose. You just say, look, your comment has no real function or purpose. Uh, your opinion of somebody's intelligence isn't granted, doesn't have any merit. Your name is S-E-R Slacker Zero Zero. What the, why would I listen to a slacker? Uh, please, why? Why Why would I listen to slacker? Slacker says. Is this, is, is this in a, written in a book somewhere? Slacker says. And everybody does what slacker says. No, you silly person. I put slacker in. I mean, slacker is being is appropriate to, to add hominin because everything in this comment section is in hominin, but... Well, all right, well, I'll cut him a break, but it's just, it is a useless comment. Thunderfoot is an asshole. <laughs> yeah, um, but you really can't say it in comments without a, a little bit of articulation. All right, anyway. <clears throat> anyway, evil, suffering, out, outnumbers and outweighs good pleasure in the world. That is a fact. Well, I don't know. If it, it, it doesn't matter. Good is made out of crap, is the point. It outweighs good. 
Well, you have to explain that the good is just a delusion. It's a satisfaction of your silly hunger. All right, we march you across the desert, you get hungry for the potato chip, you eat... Mm, 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 mm. Oh, 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 that was so good. But it lasts this long, you know, these little moments of pleasure. And, and then you end up weighing 800 pounds and have to get the bypass surgeries and all the other crap that goes with that. And it's just nonsense. Your little bit of pleasure will come at a price and it is just the gratification of a need created inside of you, you silly people. So quite obviously, it has no potential to satisfy some other problem in the world. Your gratification has already been consumed by you. Don't you understand that? You can't use your gratification to, to, to complement or, or, or justify or undo somebody else's suffering. You can't undo it. One is a dye that has real power and one is water. And you mix the two together, the dye brings out the color. You understand? Uh, yeah, you know, they won't understand. There's no point. They're too stupid to understand. But a good try, blah, blah, blah. Um, you people are shit-talking about someone. But well, of course they are. That's all they know how to do. And showing your ignorance of views when you have no choice, when, when they have no chance to respond. Well, I mean, I could respond, but yeah, why would I do that? <laughs> Oh, perhaps I am responding. I mean, this technically could be called a response. Yeah, we'll technically call it a response. I am responding. They are all jackasses. <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway, is this how intelligent, rational people behave? Well, the, the, the point of the whole video is, is that there are no intelligent, rational people. There are this whole category of people calling themselves atheists. And they are completely deluded assholes. They are sitting there pretending they're accomplishing something. My team, the Badunkies, just beat the ha ha -has in a good match at the old polo grounds. Well, why the fuck are you still playing polo, you retards? I mean, you're just too fucking silly. Too fucking silly! Alright, so good point. Um, you have to live. Why must one live? Oh, you're making, oh, hell, in church is making the point. I would, it would seem to me that you are not, that we do not have to live unless someone is coercing us or uh, withholding the means to a graceful suicide, if that is what you so choose. Well, I, the, the point is I don't choose to be raped in the first place, okay? So I don't want the undo the rape kit. I don't want the, you know, dispose of your infected, rapided self. You jump in a grave kit. Fuck that. I don't want to be put in a circumstance where I need to jump in a fucking grave. I mean, fuck the whole idea. Uh, you know, I'm vetoing the entire experiment. It's a silly experiment until they point out how it's not a silly experiment. I'm veto. I'm vetoing it. Veto. Here I go. Veto. I'm raising my hand. Veto. Pay attention now. Yeah, I'm vetoing it. Like any, like any dignified, graceful woman would veto rape. That's right. Any woman with integrity is going to say. I veto the idea that we should be raping. That's right. Well, as a good, honest victim, I'm vetoing that we could, should keep making victims. Veto! I'm vetoing it. Yes. Uh, anyway, that's all we can do. Is like, well, we can just cast our veto vote. There's not much else you can do with these, these fucking... these pygmies. <laughs> Mental pygmies. Uh, anyway. It is not entirely selfish act to have a pet or a child. Well, it's an entirely silly thing to do, goddammit. It's goddamn silly to create a consciousness for the, the purpose of gratifying your silly needs to molest them and suck their willies. Isn't that what you do, you silly people? What the fuck do you do with these babbies? These, these little puke and poop making babbies, right? What do you do with them? You must have them for a purpose. And the only, what, what's the purpose? The only thing I've heard of is that there are people who have this affection for little things and they wish to suck on their willies. What the fuck are you doing with these silly children, you silly people? Stop it! There is a receptory in having a pet or a child. The child or pet gets something out of it. Well, I'm afraid that the Frankenstein monster gained nothing from his wonderful father's gift of life. 
So it's just a fallacy that you have this silly notion that uh, everything is going to fall into the sheeple category and it will just sheeply follow you. Like you, you hatched yourself some chicks and the little chickens followed you and thought they were your mummy and then you sucked their willies. I mean, it is just nonsense to think everything on the planet is as dumb and stupid and deluded and twatty and dick-sucking as you. It's just not true. Some things do not wish to be a sheep. They do not wish to follow you blindly in your DNA molecule song. I love the DNA molecule. I'm going to a DNA molecule party. You know, not everyone is that big of a fucking twat, you fucking twat. All right, we can slide you into the asshole category. Simpson Mark, whatever the fuck that is. You silly, silly, silly fucking person. All right, I don't know that I necessarily agree with DPR when he says the majority of people would rather be alive than not to be alive. Well, that's totally irrelevant. The real relevant fact is that the vast majority of human beings do not procreate at a level sufficient to maintain human population. There is only the lowest human population that maintains population. That is the truth, you stupid fucktards. Now that we have given human beings the choice to avoid the biological silliness of having 20 babies and watching most of them die before they reach maturation, now that we have escaped the natural plan, uh, most humans choose not to perpetuate the human race. They choose to underbreed, you silly, silly, silly people. All right, anyway, the majority of religious force people to choose life as a prerequisite to entry into heaven. Well, whatever, I'm not going to argue religion. That's really not the subject, Mr. Naked Atheist. But we won't put you in the asshole category because you are basically making a couple of rational points, I assume. I certainly would assume. Ugh. Oh. Oh, you people are, oh. Ask people suffering with poor living conditions in Africa if they are happy. Oh, this seems to be another positive comment. Where are all the negative ones that were here just a moment ago? Uh, despite the suffering they also live with, Gary doesn't have the right to say... Gary doesn't have the right to say, No, you shouldn't be happy, you should be sad. I don't think that's what I say. What I say is that you are obligated to respect the things that you cause. If you are causing something's existence and you're causing its suffering, then you are obligated to accept the responsibility for that. If you are eating an animal and you're picking its bones, literally, picking at its bones, you have to accept responsibility for, for what you have done, which how you have changed the, the dynamic. What would the world be with you? What would the world be without you? You have to mentally model this circumstance and say, Oh, I'm a complete asshole. Look how I have completely fucked the world and I was picking that thing's bones. That's disgusting. That's what you have to do, asshole. That's all I advocate. Suffering doesn't outweigh happiness, says fucking you, you fucking deluded retard. By what standard are you evaluating? Uh, this random character, me, I have made this argument that I have explained this, that your happiness is an illusion made out of your, your chase, your, 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 your deprivation, your hungers. All right, this isn't some kind of real thing. And this suffering is obviously substantial. You see it in something else, and you go, holy fuck, oh, that's horrible. Oh, 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 oh whoa, oh, whoa. I mean, come on, you silly person. Um, if you let people decide, and you don't have the right to decide for them, well, you're the one deciding. How could you be such a preposterous asshole? You are deciding for, over, for millions of people, and one million people will kill themselves. Somebody obviously decided for them. Mark Twain, somebody decided for him. He says, I'd rather not have been. Right? Don't you understand? that you optimists are deciding for people. You are conducting the experiment. You are the aggressor. You don't understand the basic concept here. You're doing the experiment. Doing the experiment is the aggressive act. Not doing the experiment is the fail-safe position. Right? Do you understand? Fail-safe position. There's a fail-safe position, and then there's a, your wiener is out, and you are now going to impose it upon the five-year-old. 
You don't understand the difference between those things, you fucking child molesting lunatic? Holy fucking shit. I mean, gee, you're, you're just too fucking silly. Too fucking silly. You don't have the right to decide for them. You, you, you fucking idiot. What do you think procreating is, you jackass? Can you get any more making a decision for somebody than fucking creating them? I mean, really? Really? Can, can you explain to me some act that is more, except for murder, Besides murder, what is more of an intrusion into somebody's peace than to impose life on them, you fuckwit? Oh, God, how could people... I, I, will, I will face my palm. This is too stupid. Thunderfoot is an arrogant arse <coughs> and has debating skills suck. And his, his, not arse. He doesn't listen. <laughs> well, who fucking cares? I don't either. He is too aggressive and as clear as mud when trying to get his point across. Well, whatever. He's an asshole is the only point that matters. He's a stupid, silly person who uses words like beauty and then calls himself a scientist. I mean, it's just nonsense, absolutely nonsense to put beauty in any kind of scientific category. It's a nonsense word. Um, and he doesn't under and he thinks value is some sort of cardboard over there. You know, value equation. This cardboard over there. He describes it like it's cardboard. And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Suffering is not cardboard, you retard. Oh, oh this is all too silly. Anyway, video link. Well, fuck you. He concludes, God can't exist because life is so fucked up. Why can't we, as atheists, recognize how messed up the world is as well? Why do you exchange God for wishy-washy bullshit? Well, exactly, bearded one. Oh, it's bearded Bill. Yeah, like bearded Bill. I won't be sliding him into the asshole category. No, I will not. Not today, anyway. Anyway, I don't know, um, although I love all of you, well, fuck this love word, what does that mean? You want to stick your willy in my anus? What does that mean? You love me? You want to stick your willy in my anus? Oh, please. No, don't love me, please. I have to side with Gary and Chris here. Okay, fine, then I won't bother reading your comment, that's right, because I'm really not interested in the agreeers. Uh, no, Aaron Ra, you should have worded it. That's a lot of what parenting should be. Oh, yeah, the right. Well, I know what parenting should be, is you rather should marry the person having your child. I mean, really, that's a, the surest way to get your name on the birth certificate is to be married to the woman giving birth to your children. And it prevents your child from being born a bastard. Right? I mean, really. Uh, the, 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 the first step is to make sure your child is not born a fucking bastard. I mean, really. That's, that's the simplest first step. The silly person is telling other people how to do child rearing when they can't even accomplish the first step of not giving birth to a fucking bastard. Ah, oh, preposterous assholes. Sorry, zombie gets cobras. <laughs> you don't get to say what a bosh adoption adoption is selfish and having children is selfish. Well, she gets she gets to say whatever that she likes, and you have to make a counter argument that's reasoned, that has logic in it, and such. This is going to be a silly comment. They are, <clears throat> they are both selfish and selfish, selfish and selfless. Oh, as Thunderfoot says, you can just define everything as selfish. Well, the whole fucking point is, is that's right. When you conduct an activity, if you feel pride and, and you want to get off on it in a sense, you know, like I help the old lady across the street and I say, Ah, oh, good job, Gary. You got her across that street and now you're a bit of a hero in her little, she had a little gleam in her eye and I think she wanted you to stick your willy in her vagina. Ah. And yes, I get a good feeling, so then I'm profiting. But if I jump on a grenade and get my whole body blown to little tiny bits, well, again, I'm being a bit selfish because I'm doing it for my pride and my self-esteem. Yes, so it is a little bit tricky. We are selfish animals. We must make what we do a self-interest or our bodies will not do it. This is the trick of moving us from one place to another. 
we have to give our bodies incentive. We have to hold little carrots and we have to whip ourselves with little sticks to get ourselves moving. Yes, it's true. You can see it. You can see it in old films. You can see human beings whipping themselves with little sticks on their little bare heinies to get one person to stick their willy in the other person's um, you know, organs. Now, it's, it happens all over the place. We do this as a mechanical, psychological function. All right, uh, we, we have to make ourselves do it. And the way we make ourselves do it is to understand the purpose. You silly people. And that's why it's called the God delusion, and that's why it's called the DNA delusion, is because it's a fake carrot. You're faking it. You're creating bullshit. And you're saying, look at the bullshit. Let's all chase the bullshit. Oh, let's all have an orgasm to the sunset. And it's fucking nonsense. You're being a silly person. Oh, insufferably silly. <sighs> anyway. All right, so you go fly over into the asshole category. Silly, 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 silly person. All right, the experience of pleasure is worth the experience of pain, says you, and nobody's allowed to disagree. So you're just basically saying, I'm a woman and I like being raped occasionally. It, che it cheers me. I, I like when men want to stick their willies in my vagina. And I go, no, 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 no. And then they do it, and they're all aggressive and passionate, and they're sweaty, and, ooh, I think it's kind of a turn-on. And so because I enjoy it, all the other women must enjoy it likewise, because I say so. They don't get to say veto. They don't get to say stop it, you asshole. No, 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 because I enjoy the rape. They must enjoy it also. That's how big a preposterous twat that you are, you silly, 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 silly fucking person. The experience of pleasure are worth the experience of pain. I'm telling you quite explicitly, okay? Quite explicitly. Penal cancer is not worth anything on this entire entire planet, on the moon, on Saturn, I would sell them all to avoid it. That's a fact. I would personally do that, you silly person. So your, your comment is irrelevant and meaningless. Go fuck yourself, sir, or madam, whatever you may be. Ascending paradigm, whatever that means. You're a fucking twat. A twat. A twat. The yeah, other's English. Twat. You're a twat. And an asshole. Oh, God. I just never end. Yo, Thunderfoot. Well, that's a silly way to start a comment. There is no point in trying to cure AIDS because successful viruses proc propagate successfully. Well, this is true, but who cares? All right, I, this is enough of this one. I'll do a couple on this other page. Now we jump over to this other one. I think there are funnier ones here, to tell you the truth. I believe they are much funnier on this page. I believe so. <sighs> I believe YouTube is taking a while to load the page. This here is reason enough to say, oh, this is just so fucking silly. Oh, you have to open the firewall. That's what was slowing it down. There was a wall, a fail-safe wall put up to avoid a disaster. Like, that's the rational thing to do. People who say, I do not wish to play your silly games, should have a right to say, I do not want to play your silly games. Oh, that annoying grey pets video, that annoying autoplay. Yes, I will not watch your videos. I take you out of the index because you never shut the fuck up, you stupid, ugly twat. Oh, God, it's so annoying. So fucking annoying. See, I have this, I have this tool here that indexes videos. And the assholes who have the autoplays, you know, they are into playing their videos when my computer gets short on resources. And it's short on resources because I've 18 fucking Firefox windows opened with multiple tabs. Which is clearly, clearly, clearly... I mean, I, have to, I, I would have to put myself in the asshole category because yes, this is a silly thing to do. So, uh, I wonder if Gary has children. Well, why would I have children? The only thing you can do with children is 
suck their willies. I don't wish to child, suck a child's willy, you silly person. So why the fuck would I have any of those? Let's hope not, hey. Well, look, you really think so, fuckwit. If I had a genetic child, you don't think it would beat the shit out of your little fucking willy-sucked morons? Well, it certainly would. It would certainly kick its little fucking twat ass. <laughs> yes, it would. But guess what, asshole? You don't inherit a character. You don't inherit character. You don't understand that? Character is developed in individuals. It isn't something you inherit, you silly, silly, silly person. Ah, oh, silly. Oh, this asshole. I mean, really, too silly. Uh, Google Video Man. Oh, well, you're just too fucking silly. Gary, wah. I'm not happy. I'm not having fun. You all suck. Oh, please. I mean, I've just, I made it clear in the video, I've talked about billions of years of evolution, animals eating each other, all this other munchy, munchy, chomp, chomp, and then you sit there and trivialize it all, and just say, oh, it's scary, he's just complaining because, you know, he didn't win bingo the other day. I mean, you're so fucking silly, and my life is so much better than yours. I am, I've had more happiness and been on better mountain trips, literally, better mountain trips, then you can even imagine, you fucking fat loser. I mean, so is this another silly argument? I mean, if I had to be anyone on this silly planet, I'd only be me, because I am so much superior to you. You are just complete puke. Why would I be a bucket of puke like you, when I could be the magnificent me? Ugh, I mean, you're just too fucking silly. This is about DNA molecules, physics... I mean, the subjects are just obviously way over your head. You're just a silly sheeple rooting for the home team. Oh, go, human, go. Go, human, go. I mean, really, we should give you a little sponge finger with a number one on it and a little flag to wave and a little beady with a helicopter on it, right? Because you're just a little bit of a raw, raw sheeple. Oh, yes. Life is good because my mommy told me so. I mean, that's all you have, you silly, silly, silly asshole. Anyway, unlike pain, which is inevitable reaction to the neuron stimuli, suffering is a choice. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I mean, really? Come on now, there are sufferings where it is pain that causes the suffering. Insensitive. You, have you ever had a back pain? Have you ever done like real work in the world and it destroys the lumbar eye in your back? And then you are just besieged with constant pain. You're not making it up. You're not going, oh, I don't like that. You're, no, 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 it's stabbing you with jaws of electricity shooting up your spine into your brain. It's horrific, you silly, silly, silly person. You're going to trivialize pain, you silly, silly, silly person. I mean, quite literally, you are preposterously silly. Do you think people are just making it up? You know, when they all go to get the chemotherapy and they're throwing up all over the fucking place and diarrhea flying out of their asses. You think they're just making that up, you silly person? Oh, you're just too fucking silly. Too fucking silly. Oh, oh I mean, really. There, are really. there should be a law against that much silliness. Ah, DJ Kajakakai. I like him. Gary suffers because we choose to suffer. Yes, he's quoting him. And so what exactly would be your alternative solution to getting your brain eaten alive by mad cow disease? Oh, okay, so he's just basically doing what I just did. Oh, very good. Excellent, excellent. And then there's even God Suffer. Even God's Suffer. What a stupid, silly, silly fucking name. You'll never convince people to stop reproducing because ignorant breeds ignorance and suffering loves company. Well, this is the silly part, right? I mean, we know ignorance doesn't breed ignorance. In fact, a humanoid of 50,000 years ago was just as capable of being intelligent as you are. What it didn't have was a little grammar school to go to, and it didn't get to watch television and learn things, and this, it had a whole starvation of its environment is what made it an idiot and a moron. So this is idiotic to say ignorance breeds ignorance. 
Okay, no, no. Lack of information breeds ignorance, you silliness. You fuckwit, you retard. You'll never convince... Oh, we already did that. <laughs> my bad, my bad. See, this is all atheism basic understanding. You die at the end, and yet they are so sure that asking and looking for God is a pointless endeavor. 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 Well, of course it's pointless. I mean, the fact that life sucks is a fact. This is the desperation of the religious fucktards. My solution is to lie. Oh, yes, well, of course, you're lying scum. So on top of being all kinds of other scum, deluded scum, selfish scum, you just want to make yourself a lying scum also. That's your fucking solution. I will lie, invent a god, call myself great, and say I win. Oh, well, that's just fucking retarded. I mean, god damn, you're retarded. Too fucking retarded, too. Again, T-O-O. I don't know what exactly to do about it, but god damn it, you're too retarded. Ugh. A middle-aged man saying he'd like to go back and punch his mother in the vagina. Well, actually, I'd like to punch her in the uterus. I mean, that was my mistake. I mean, there's no real point punching her in the vagina, because that probably wouldn't get the job done. So, he's a poser, right? Whether he knows it or not. I don't even know what that means. Exactly. Whether I know what or whether I do what. What the fuck does that actually mean, you silly, silly, silly person? Alright, it's a metaphor. You don't understand what a metaphor is? An artful, poloic metaphor. I mean, I could have just said I'd rather not have been. Alright, but I just made it a little more aggressive and just said, Yes, I would just like to go in there and just punch the little critter out. I'd like to give the fetus a little wash down the old toilet. That's right. Just to give it a little visual enhancement, you silly fuck. But no, you're a little weaselly, nitpicking, small, willy jackass who probably had his dick sucked often by old grumpy men, and now you're just a little bit of a twat. Or a twat. <clears throat> so Gary thinks... So Gary thinks. That's probably enough of a sentence, right? That's right, Gary thinks, and you stupid fucking idiots do not. Uh, all like is disgusting. All like is disgusting? Oh, that's a mistake, I imagine. And wishing he'd never been born. Correct. Am I the only one who's worried that someone with this, that attitude will end up going on a murder-suicide rampage? Well, I guess you should be a little bit worried. I mean, 9-11 sort of was that kind of a message, wasn't it? Uh, it's kill them all. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's right. And in the future, somebody will have technology and they probably will drive it right through your little anus, you little fucker. And um, I personally would like to still be alive to see it, actually. I'd like to see you burning on fire, um, screaming in horror, because that's what you deserve. You are willing to impose horror on other living creatures. You're willing to slaughter them and murder them and and harm them in all kinds of malicious and silly ways. You're willing to pick their bones, literally, for your gratification. So, yes, the sooner they can catch you on fire, the better. Yes, I'm all for it. I'll vote for it. Catch this asshole on fire. Yes, it's a good idea. Yes, fuck the little puke. Ah, oh, he's got Pokey in his fucking screen name. Scarlet Pokey. Oh, which I molested, no doubt. No doubt about it. So now we have a part two comment ahead of a part one. Well, we'll just see what it goes. Just because life isn't fair and extreme suffering sometimes happens doesn't mean that living is pointless. Well, guess what? The fact that it's a replicating molecule, replication for the sake of replication, does make it pointless. The fact that there is nothing to accomplish, that the, word, the universe has no thing called need. Need is a very important thing, right? Need. Need is created out of a, a, a rational equation that defines a purpose, a, a, a use, a utility. And there's no use or utility for this thing called life, you silly person. It opens no key in the universe. It scratches no itch. It licks no vagina. It does nothing of constructive value whatsoever. And that's sort of important, you little dumb twat. Um, anyway... We have potential for enormous joy, too. Well, what does enormous joy exactly look like? 
I mean, for me, it's squirt, 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 oh, 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 and then, you know, I get a bit tired and have to take a nappy. I mean, what exactly is this enormous joy going to be made out of, you silly person? We are sentient components of the universe. Well, whatever that means, sentient components of the universe. Who the fuck cares? What, are you going to put that a badge on your fucking chest? I am a sentient component of the universe. And you're going to feel all superior because you're a sentient component of the universe? Oh, come on, you're too silly, too silly. Oh, there is no default reason to loathe our existence, ourselves, or each other, except for the fact that we're goddamn malicious, selfish, motherfucking, raping, pillaging monsters. But besides that, we should all feel good about ourselves. Oh, fuck you, you silly person. Gary is just capitalizing on his ability to be shocking and and degenerating to grander attention and fans and to justify his own failure to succeed. Well, gee, B, that's a little bit personal, you fucker. <laughs> I mean, really. I, I take my glove and smack it across your face, you silly fuck. Who the hell are you to ascribe those motives to me? You have no evidence of this lie, this slander. Where's your evidence, sir? Produce your evidence. Maybe wrong, but I think he lives off disability. Oh, my word! <laughs> I mean, that's preposterously personal. Well, I tell you what I do, sir. I challenge you. Okay, I challenge you. I mean, really, we, got, we must bring back dueling, like a dueling television show, where two men enter and one faggot dies. Uh, yes, this is, only, this is the only possible solution. I tell you, sir, that I have acquired numerous b b bountiful skills in my life. Now, the only way you can acquire these skills is through hard work. Okay, I can fix a car better than you, I can diagnose a television or any other thing, sickness better than you. I could do surgery better than you. I could do anything you could name on this planet. Hopscotch, I will beat you at a game of hopscotch. But we must play to the death, because that will only the way you prove integrity. Okay, so have the integrity to say that you are better than me in any one respect, you silly person, if you're going to say shit like this on a public forum. If you are going to insult me in this manner in a public forum, I have a right to call you on it, you little twat. To say fuck you, you silly fuck. And then in the final contest, I will defeat you in every contest. Pleasing a woman, it doesn't matter what the contest is, I will defeat you. And then in the final contest, I will fisty cuff you into a pulp. I will bury you in the ground. And then I will shit on the shit that you are. And then I will piss on the shit. And then I will have a good laugh. <laughs> Wasn't that jolly fun? I think it'd be an excellent television show. Producer people, venture capital people, where are you? Come on, it's time for such a program. And call the motherfucker out. That could be the name of it. Let's call the motherfucking cunt lying slandering bastard out. Fuck you, sir. Fuck you. <laughs> yes, you unmeritorious fucking slandering lying piece of fucking shit.